Sonia DeLang. Welcome to the Gathering Place Strummers and Singers. It's time to sit down, relax, take out your songbooks, and join in, sing along with us. If you have an instrument, play along with us. We have some wonderful songs. You'll be seeing them on the screen that we will be singing today, talking of the love of Jesus, how we've been redeemed, what a precious name, and there's no, there's not one like Jesus. So as we begin this program, we'd like to invite you to sing with us, sing Redeemed. This program is taken from the much-loved Christ in Song hymnal, published first in 1900 and revised in 1908 by Frank Belden. About a thousand hymns are found in these pages with wide representation of many gifted interdenominational writers. It's been an absolute joy to put these programs together. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Love That Will M Not Let Me Go was written in 1881 by George Matheson. 
His poetry is deep and not well understood at first. Think about the words carefully. O oh, love that will not let me go. Jesus Loves Me was written by Anna and Susan Warner, who lived in a ramshackle Revolutionary War era house on Constitution Island across from West Point Military Academy. For years, they held Sunday school classes for the cadets at West Point. When they died, they were buried with full military honors. They are the only civilians to be buried in the military cemetery at West Point. Jesus loves me.
Elizabeth Prentice loved the hymn, Nearer My God to Thee, and used the same meter for her hymn, More Love to Thee. She wrote it during a very stressful time of her life, found it in the stack about 13 years later, and threw it in the trash. Her husband retrieved it, sent it to William Doan, who put the music to it that we know and love. More love to thee. David gives the secret of his life in Psalm 16, verse 8. I have set the Lord always before me. Every moment of every day, he set the Lord's presence before him. It's pretty clear what happened when he didn't do that. But if you are depressed, sad, lonely, or anxious, practice setting the Lord before you. Then you can say with David, therefore my heart is glad, the thought of thee. Yeah. 
leaning on the everlasting arms is taken from Deuteronomy 33:27. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. I love the chorus. In these days of smoke alarms, fire alarms, car alarms, carbon monoxide alarms, even alarm clocks still, the words are even more meaningful. Safe and secure from all alarms, leaning on the everlasting arms. Sometimes we just talk too much, saying things without thinking, criticize openly without considering the hurt, flash of emails without pausing before hitting the send button. Christ says, open the door and I will come in and discuss things over dinner. That's good. Hang on to those thoughts and run them by him for some advice. Tell it to Jesus.
Are you in need of a friend? We all need and cherish our friends. I especially relish the times I spend with the friends around me right here and now. We enjoy the times practicing these hymns in various homes with food, laughter, and prayer. But the greatest friend is Jesus. He has said, I have called you friends. There's not a friend like Jesus. No, not one. gathering place drummers and singers I hope that you have enjoyed singing with us and this song tells the most important message that all of us need to keep near and dear to our hearts that no there is no friend on this earth not even a family member that has that place in our lives that Jesus should have and we should never allow him to slip away I ask you to pray for us here at LOBN, and please watch again this same time next week. Thank you.